Hey guys, it's Robert. Today I'm working on uh, replacing my upper ball joint. Um, I already have the old one pressed out. These are my kit that I ordered or rented from O'Reilly's. It's the ball joint press. This is the four wheel drive one. Comes with three kits. Uh, this is my old ball joint. Upgrading the moves. The reason I'm making this video is um, basically never figured out how to press this in. I ordered one before and it ripped when I was trying to press it in. I found an easier way, so I thought I would show you guys. I replaced the other side already. Um, but basically, to press the old one out, once you get it off of the upper ball joint, I mean upper control arm, you would use this kit. It's going to go, this would be like this. You're going to set this right on top of there. This piece comes off. From the ball joint press goes right on top and you're going to use this adapter piece that's from the four-wheel drive part set up on top grab your c-clamp press kind of put it right up in there and slowly just press it off it might you might have to give it a couple tries but eventually it'll just pop right out but before you do that Make sure you remove your snap ring that's usually right up on this ball joint right, sitting right here or else you won't be able to press it out. Make sure you remove that first. So in order, press this ball joint on. This is the new move one that I have. Sit it right on top of there. You'll have this piece that's from the four-wheel drive ball joint press set. <clears throat> Basically, you're gonna sit on top of right here. You'll have this in. Put it together like this. Grab your C-clamp. Get it set up. Make sure it's just kind of sit flushed around the side walls of that piece. That way it's not sliding everywhere. Slowly. Just start to press it in. It is guys it's pressed in so we'll probably end up here taking a quick pause while I put the snap ring back on basically open this back up put the snap ring on before you put this boot in we get to this point I'll show you guys how I press it in Alright, that's on now. At this point, you're gonna press this boot in. Basically, I grab some grease. I just cut the old box out of the old grease tube I had. Grease is up inside. Put some grease around here, make it easier to slide in. Move it up. All right, if you look at the same piece we used earlier, oh, this is a different piece actually. This fits perfectly around the boot. 
So we're just going to place it right on top. Make sure you don't install this grease nipple. This part will go around without pressing anything in or puncturing or damaging the bottom end. Make sure it's as level as possible so you don't kink anything. I just used my hand for that and you guys can tell it slid in pretty easy. There you go guys. The boots installed. Afterwards, you just put it back together. Make sure to put that nipple in at the bottom. Attach it to your upper ball joint and then you should be done. And uh, just tighten everything down. Don't forget your cotter pin. Um, and tighten it to specs but yeah that's about it it's pretty easy i struggled the first time but we're good now so thanks for watching that's it